Amir Khan just sounding really silly, man. Kelbrook made his name off me. No, he didn't. No, he did not. If anything, you've both got a lot of mileage out of the game back and forth with each other. You've both got mileage out of it. Not just Kelbrook. You've both milked a lot of press out of that. It's not one-sided. He's a nobody. I made Kelbrook. No, that's not true. It's all of that is... This is what I'm saying, man. This is what I'm saying. And then, either way, these moronic... I'm just going to say um, immature dudes out there in the YouTube world. Oh, you're hating on Amir Khan. You don't like Pakistanis. Or, oh, you hate Kel Brook. You hate British fighters. Why don't you jump over? No, no you see, you, they both say stupid crap. And I'm pointing it out every time they do. It's as simple as that. I'm not flag waving for Asia, for Britain, or anyone. They both say stupid stuff. When you big... Kell broke up because he went five rounds with Triple G. I'm not saying you can't take any positives out of his performance. But the Brook fans and Matchroom went over the top. You didn't get through half of the fights. And then, oh, you deserve props for taking your mandatory. No, you don't, actually. That's what you have to do to keep the belt. So that's stupidness in itself. Now, this guy, what are you talking about? You made Kel you didn't make Kell Brook. Kell Brook made himself. He's the IBF champion. He beat Sean Porter. He took on some weak mandatories, which the IBF gave him, and one weak voluntary. He fought Golovkin in a pay-per-view fight on Sky. He made himself. And now he's taken on one of the more dangerous mandatory challenges at 147 in recent years. Somebody who Keith Thurman ducked and a couple of nondescript ranked fighters ducked him also in Eliminators. Yeah? Somebody who knocked out Opponents who previously weren't knocked out took out Bundu, where Keith Thurman couldn't do it, who is a dual belt holder at 147, Keith Thurman, right? Manny Pacquiao, all-time great, couldn't knock out Algeri. What did Spencer do to him? He's a hype job? You don't know what a hype job is, and you don't know shit about boxing. That's not a hype job. Errol Spence doesn't have the mainstream press behind him. He's not a hype job, I'm afraid. He came up on free TV. PBC. Kel Brook is not a hype job. He's fought some weak opposition in his defenses, but he's not a hype job. You guys just like throwing words around because you get into this territorial thing. Oh, it's us against them. You know what I mean? But you, you won't be doing this shit in real life. Get off that. I don't like that baby shit. Go do it in the real world, not around me, please. Just like I pointed out, Ricky Hatton was talking a whole load of stupidness yesterday about what Khan should do with Kel Brook. But he didn't do it with Junior Witter. Then started talking about Khan's getting knocked out too much. I mean, you're getting knocked out too much. You're free of peace. Khan's been knocked out three times. You've been knocked out three times. I'll point it out. I don't care less. Eubank Junior challenging Tony Bellew. And I'm a Eubank Junior fan. To a light heavyweight match when this guy was nearly dead at 12 stone 7 just a couple of years ago. Absolutely ridiculous. No, it wasn't even light heavy. At super middleweight, I believe he challenged it. It wasn't even at light heavy. Stupidness.